Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to show you how to make a stylish scratch project. Step one, have a good sturdy genea that you want to make. Now, if you have already the genea that you want to make, then skip this step. It's already done for you. But if you don't know which project you want to make, then First thing first, go to the explore page where there are lots of scratch projects and then switch in the drop down menu to the right where you'll see the trending button. Click that and, you, and you'll see all the trending projects. Focus on the top three. What type of project are they? Be it a game, animation, music map, whatever. Pick one of those genius and then you're on the right track. Step two, have good graphics. So you're making the project, but you really wanna have the coding bit. Now, don't do this yet. It's not your time. You first need to make the graphics. Now I've learned this a lot in the past where I just, jumped into the coding and the graphics didn't go very, very far. Hmm. If you look on, type up minting simulator in your search, in the, in the search box and you'll find there are only two available in the scratch community. I made those two. There's minting simulator and minting simulator beta. Now those projects weren't very graphically good. <laughs> So I recommend that you have some good sturdy graphics. Now, if you like 3D graphics design, if you love drawing, then this step is for you. Get into it and you'll have a great time. And the final step, step three, get the best amount of code possible and organize it. See, when I was making Scratch OS, link in the description, follow for premium. It's really messed up. It's like, it's very messy in some places. Lots of little scripts everywhere. Like when I receive, when I receive, when green flag click. And it's like this everywhere. So if you left click the coding area, you'll find the button clean up code. Press that and everything gets arranged in one area. It's really cool. The other thing, you need to have the best code possible. Now, no project is bug free because the game with no bugs is no game at all. Every single game has some little bug and that's what you must make them. Little, not game breaking. And I experienced this in Scratch OS. I found out that some of my apps, they were increasing the money. Uh, not decreasing them. So I fixed that and right now everything's fine. I still have a few game breaking bugs, but I will certainly fix them. Guys, those were three steps on having a stylish, good, sturdy project. And I'll give you three steps to catch up with Scratch Frenzy. Like, subscribe, and click the bell. Thank you for watching. Lee. Link Scratch OS in the description. Follow me for the premium version. Thanks a lot.